uh, as it relates to my um, integrity declarations, uh, I too am concerned that they have not yet certified them. Uh, they have written to me asking various questions. Uh, I have provided answers, and they have written to me again, and I'm in the process of providing those answers. You will, however, appreciate that it does take some time, and particularly for me, uh, to... Bless up, bless up, my people. Welcome back to the channel. It's a girl, and Isabel Rose. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for returning subscribers. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn the post notification bell on. Put it on all so you won't miss an upload from me. On the road to 20K, help me to get there, my people. So in this one, my people, Julian Robinson calls the Integrity Commission to be more transparent about their rulings. As well as the Integrity Commission has hinted that multiple reports of investigation should be sent to the parliament by now and June. Stay tuned for the details at hand. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Run over to my other platform at Bell Rose Shorts Media and subscribe over there. Get that channel to 1K for me, please and thanks. So my people, following the Integrity Commission's latest rulings, my people, as it pertains to a Jamaica Customs officer and the Corruption Director of the Integrity Commission, Miss Keisha Prince Kamika, on not charging that Customs officer on her failure to file a 2018 and 2019 statutory declarations and even not paying the fine that was given out to her and we've seen even the same fate that reached a Duane Vaz and he was basically prosecuted my people was brought before the courts and that didn't sit well with some of us my people and we seen a few owners saying that you know the IC which is the integrity commission basically you know, compromise. We've seen some persons even calling out the corruption director saying that she's corrupted and whatnot. And so right now we've seen Member of Parliament for Southeastern St. Andrew Julian Robinson calling for greater transparency of the Integrity Commissions about their ruling. And him basically advised the same concern of the director not prosecuting or not charging, you know, this Jamaica Customs for her failure to file. Mrs. Kamika said the decision not to charge was based on certain challenges in the documentation served to this customs officer. She also said that full rulings are not customarily shared beyond the commission. So basically, she's saying that they cannot get into the nitty-gritty of why, you know, she wasn't charged. And so Robinson is basically calling for them to come and say more. To avoid the perception of bias because only for people even have said the integrity commission bias even if not the full decision at least a summary should be provided to us in the parliament because when i look on it without knowledge i'm trying to determine why go charge x person and why not charge y and you clearly have very solid reasons for it but that's not shared with us we may get to more serious offenses in the future. So I believe the commission, and I believe this is within our remit, Chairman, that the decision of the Director of Corruption Prosecution should be shared with the Parliament when the reports are tabled, not just the summary to say whether you're charging or not, but the reasons. It reinforces your need for the commissioners to be here, but I'm saying we are empowered as parliamentarians on this oversight committee to make recommendations and I'm strongly recommending very strongly that it be provided and it is to protect you from accusations of arbitrary arbitrariness and bias because without more that is the conclusion that people will draw and so now in our latest update my people from the integrity commissions the officials have signaled that the new corruption probe reports are coming soon the people and soon in the sense of June which is right around the corner so while signaling that investigations into the illicit enrichment and other acts of corruption require more time and extensive scrutiny 
Director of Investigations at the Integrity Commissions, Kevin Stevenson, has signaled that the country will soon have an appreciation of the complexity of these probes when the anti-corruption body releases reports on these offences to Parliament. He quoted, I am sure that very soon the Parliament and the country will understand the nature of some of these investigations just by virtue of reports that are produced by the work of the Commission. He said the Commission was conducting ongoing investigations including statutory declaration related matters such as failure to file, failure to provide information and false statements. He said these probes are easier to carry out as they are paper based. However, Craig Beresford, the Director of Information and Complaints, says that when the matter of illicit enrichment is being investigated, the declarant is required to give an explanation as to how he came by his assets. And that if the information resided with a third party, the Integrity Commission would give the declarant sufficient time to obtain it. On the issue of certifying the statutory declaration of public servants and parliamentarians, Beresford pointed out that when he was satisfied that all information as best as possible had been provided by a declarant, then he would recommend to the commission that it issue a certification. However, if the declarant cannot be certified, Beresford said a referral for investigation could be made. Section 42.4 of the IC law said that where the director of information and complaints is of the opinion that an investigation in relation to a statutory declaration is necessary for the purposes of the act he shall refer the matter to the commission for further and necessary action it is really two outcomes you either get the certification or if we believe it is something that we feel we need to probe a bit further the recommendation is made and so we even seen some members of the integrity oversight committee you know wanting to know why the commission might certify a declarant statutory declaration in a given year and subsequent years raise concerns about the same information that had been provided previously as in the case of doing vase and so mr beresford said an individual's statutory declaration may have been certified previously but the commission got information later that the declarant has assets for example in another jurisdiction that was not presented as part of his declaration and so with july coming making one year since the ic had said in their annual report that there are six parliamentarians and 28 public figures who are under investigation for illicit enrichment and more so the parliamentarians people are waiting for that illicit six my people and so we even seen right now the current government drafting back, you know, wants to get Paula Llewellyn back in office, basically asking the court to expedite or appeal case against the constitutional court ruling. And some of the people that ruling will be on June 24th. So is it this the reason why they're drafting back, you know, Paula Llewellyn to come back? Because remember, you know, my people, she hold the key. She's the one that will say whether or not they should be prosecuted or not. You understand? Kamika Prince cannot do that. Right? She can make recommendations to the Director of Public Prosecutions. And the Director of Public Prosecution is the one who will say whether or not an individual is supposed to be prosecuted. You know, the implications of this goes far and wide. Why hasn't it been certified and does the public have anything to be concerned about? You would appreciate that this is for the state of emergency. Well, PM, so you don't those are the here. questions that we're entertaining at this time. Are you giving do, you have, do you have questions on the state of emergency for St. James? Well, PM, we don't see it very often, so... Please, let her uh, answer the question because yeah. I, uh, um, I think that it is not fair to say that you don't see me often. <laughs> because I, I have, uh, uh, we have uh, met up on several tours and other occasions. Uh, the post cap, just to be clear, the, the, the post cabinet press briefing is for the, the ministers and the various portfolios. And I, I want to be clear that uh, on all important matters,
uh, my government does provide the opportunity for information to be dispensed to the public and for our ministers to be questioned. Uh, and I'm very happy that the post cabinet is being conducted uh, routinely and consistently. Uh, as it relates to my uh, integrity declarations, uh, I too am concerned that they have not yet certified them. Uh, they have written to me asking various questions. Uh, I have provided answers, and they have written to me again, and I'm in the process of providing those answers. You will, however, appreciate that it does take some time, and particularly for me, uh, to get two or three days to go through matters and provide answers. I simply have to be very frugal with my time. Uh, and I suspect the same for the Integrity Commission that have to go through um, several thousands of uh, declarations. But I would expect that they would give some priority to my declarations. Um, I do hope to be able to respond to them before the end of this week. So I'm hopeful that they would do their work and uh, provide the nation with the necessary certification. Um, to be clear, I have tried not to comment on the issue because I find myself in an invidious position in that I have to protect and defend most, uh, most times the institutions of the country. So I, you know, my silence should not be interpreted as not wanting to address it, but I do have another role and that role is to protect and to defend the institutions, the laws that we have put in place. So um, I'm hopeful that uh, in short order this matter will be resolved. By the way, you should also know that it is quite routine that uh, the Integrity Commission will write to persons over and over again. And there would be several persons whose uh, statutory declarations are not certified because they are in this continuous process of asking questions and trying to make determinations. Uh, my situation obviously would be public and therefore it would cause some concerns. Uh, and so I accept and I acknowledge that. But it would not have been the first time that the Integrity Commission would have taken a long time to resolve my matters. And I suspect that as Prime Minister uh, they would want to be very detailed in, in what they do. I would hope that uh, there is no difference in my treatment than given to others. And I really do not, uh, I would not want to think so. So my people, I want to hear from one another one and talk up until I want to think, right? The whole country needs more clarity on certain things. And we're seeing the Integrity Commission coming out right now, speaking on some of those matters that you know, has been circulating out there in the whole social media space. Chat up to me, my people. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Run over to my other platform, Instagram and Facebook, and follow me over there at Anissa Bell Rose. Check out the YouTube store, make a purchase. It goes in support of the channel. Check out the YouTube membership. You get a lot of benefits by becoming a member. Only a small fee per month to become a member of the Anissa Bell Rose movement. You'll get special badges to stand out in the comment section. You get member shout out and a whole heap of perks when you're a member of the channel member shout out goes to angela and ivan wallace big up on the self assist thanks for the continued support on the channel new viewers come on board journey with me join the family subscribe to the channel like up the videos share out the videos support the abr movement by playing your part on the road to 20k let me get there my people get this video to at least 2000 likes stay tuned for more videos stay tuned for more updates big up on yourself.